Hey there guys and welcome to Running Form Friday 2.0. My name is Brandon Wood and I'm here this afternoon with Ian Adamson. It's not a Friday, but that's okay. We're getting this video out to you guys as soon as we could. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Ed. And as you can see here, we're watching Ed from the side. Ed has sent us all the shots that we wanted to see. He sent a little video of him running kind of in profile, a little video where he runs straight onto the camera. Oftentimes we also like to see the back, which he sent as well. But for this case, just seeing Ed from those two angles is all that we need. And now, I'm going to pass it over to Ian. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, it's actually Ian McSporn today, so <laughs> we're going to look at Ed from the side here. And what you can tell is he has a slight asymmetry. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that his right leg, as it comes back, is actually stopped before it hits the ground. And this is quite important because it creates an efficiency that allows him not to break on his right leg. Now, if we fast forward here and look at the leg come down, then what you'll see is the foot stops and it loads and then he moves forward over the top. On his left leg we see something slightly different and it's a subtlety but his leg is still moving forward as it hits the ground. We'll look at some lines here so you can see what's happening. Some people might think that he actually has a, a heel strike which is bad and it is not. The heel strike in itself is not a bad thing, it just depends how and where the foot loads. So we can see that his leg is straight, the heel comes down, and as he loads it, it actually stops and comes back to him. Now let's have a look at the left leg, because on the left leg we're going to see something quite different. As he moves forward, uh, we can see the extension on his left does not occur at the hip, and consequently there's some sort of tightness. Now his leg is moving forward and his foot is moving forward and breaking on the ground. This is a very important thing to notice because it's quite different from the right. It's a subtlety that many people won't notice. Let's now look at his hip extension on his right because his hip extension on his right is actually quite good. You can see the angle there but at his hip. The angle opens up but on his right hand side we do not see the same thing. Clearly then, Ed has some sort of tightness, may or may not be related to an injury. We can see it in his arms and show up in his legs and his gait. The recommendation for Ed is to work on his right side to get that foot to stop before it hits the ground, just like his left. A B skip would be appropriate in this case. From the front, we can see Ed has excellent strength and alignment through the hips. We're not seeing his hips drop or his spine buckle over. So he has excellent strength in his gluteus medius. There are some small subtleties that you will notice may or may not be a problem, but definitely related to his tightness and asymmetric gait. If you look at his left foot, as it leaves the ground, it turns out, and then as it comes through, it turns back in again. Now this is gonna cause a little torque at the knee may or may not be important and for something like this when we start to look at subtleties remember this is video analysis this is not true gate analysis for a true gate analysis you'd want to go and see someone like Jay Desherry at his lab in, lab in Bend, Oregon uh, and definitely read his book Anatomy for Runners. So in summary uh, Ed has quite decent posture he's obviously quite strong through the core his position is generally good nice athletic position especially on his right by his left, needs a little work. Uh, cadence, I'm guessing, is quite good. He does not appear to have a lot of vertical motion. His mobility definitely needs work on his left hip to get that leg extension. So it needs to get some tissue work to produce mobility. That's digging in, rolling, and also stretching the left hip. Stability from the front, we can see again, nice strong hips. His foot loads right under his knee and his hip very slight torque on his left don't know if that's important or not so he looks generally good good posture position and cadence nice mobility stability and strength just work on that left leg thank you so much guys for joining us for running form friday as always if you'd like to send in a video please send it to rff that's rff for running form friday at newtonrunning.com very soon we will be asking you to submit your videos via sprongo.com so while you've got this little heads up go to sprongo s p r o n g o dot com and sign up and we will be able to get your videos that way and analyze them directly on the tool that we're using thanks so much and we'll see you this week